Hello there, so today let's check out the melee weapon I personally don't like. But anyhow we have Pounders, which is like Furious but more overpowered if we have just one target. So plus 10% damage after each consecutive melee hit on the same combat target, up to plus 100%. I go with red upper first, so we can chop chop green stuff in Vestec. But I actually want to test how this weapon performs in VATS, cause it had been hella bad before. Plus it looks quite cool with Strangler hard power armor. Well, we can choose spin our axe like this, so maybe, probably this visual effect gonna work better with our blender. Somewhat devilish and mean. And I have a new legendary modification for power armor. It's called Scanners. Well, the description says AP cost of VAT's attacks reduced by 10% up to 50% on full stack. And obviously, I do have full stack. And I'm not sure if it is something good or not. First, I'm trying. Maybe it is just not working. <laughs> okay. Here are my mutations, I go bloody but not gonna use food buffs here, nothing extra, cause auto axe is quite OP on its own. Obviously strength is important and uh, here's my perk loadout. I wonder if we can concentrate our fire with red upper <laughs> and vast target someone's head. Would be cool to get extra damage points. We don't need crits here, that is why no critical savvy, but we're gonna do some explosions with hack and slash, uh, demo expert and uh, grenadier. By the way, hack and slash is right here. 50% chance for melee vats attacks to do area damage. Great. Okie dokie, hello there, vats and... Uh, hmm. Come on, work, please. Oh. Now yes. Senorito Suicider, you are next, come on! I mean, I'm pressing the left button of my mouse, but it just doesn't work, and uh, finally. Okay, who's next? Oh, another dog. WTF is going on? Why my attacks are getting cancelled? No idea. Let's go like this. Brrr, that, brrr, that. And here let's try to use bots one more time. Yes. And it has exploded. Legendary dude! Oh, for star legendary dude. <laughs> Great. Doggy, bye bye. Conclusion Concentrated fire still doesn't work with melee weapons. Fats attacks are hard to perform. Puppy Hulk test and. Uh, hey! Okay, please. <sighs> okay. There is a reason why I don't like auto melee weapons. This reason. So, you can see 12 damage numbers I got before Papi got choppy chopped. Since we have few 373 and uh, 410 and uh, 411, I'm not sure if ultra melee weapons can properly work with pounders. Inside West Tech, I actually got not repeatable numbers in every case. In the first and second cases, the damage got increased by 26 points. In the third case, something epic happened between damage 285 and 336, also known as Tenderizer effect. Auto Axe is still a great weapon, kills fast and everything, but it is just not my bottle of Nuka Cola. I think Pounders is not necessary here. Well, if you are serious about making big numbers against Arrow, in this case, probably yes. But little mobs should be dead within first few hits. Okay, okay. moving on to something more interesting. Auto axe sucks. <laughs> Go drill through wasteland. Uh, and in this case, I use Thor armor. Um, just because. More strength and uh, sentinel for no obvious reason. Bruisers give small melee damage, so why not? Plus, I wanna be a warrior of shadows with weighted arms. 
By the way, drill is a silent weapon, plus it works in Watts, always has actually, but the damage was kinda mm -mm. I've changed a little bit my perk without, not sure if I wanna go for uber big numbers, so still no food buffs. Though something we gonna add to our equation, just because uh, why not. So we have normal damage, bonus sneak attacks, fast crits and plus explosions. By the way, I still wanna test hack and slash over here. It's working as a charm on live server right now. Go have fun if you dare. Additionally, we can try something else like collateral damage, just to get more explosions. More explosions, more fun. Let's rank it up. And uh, we are ready. As something extra, I have melee bubblehead plus Grognak the Barbarian number 4 to get additional melee critical damage. Hello there. Hey, disappeared. Not fair. Okay, okay. let's try again. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Hack and slash is so fun. Let's try with this dude. Look at this. <laughs> I'm so happy for no reason. Senorito Mini Hawk, let me repay you. <sighs> I mean, uh, you literally may have this sort of fun right now on live server. And I was suggested this gameplay a few months ago, by the way. So I'd say the time has come to drill them. I'm almost 40 years old and I'm drilling green stuff in best. <laughs> but anyways, I wish I could drill his head. Would be more fun. I just want to drill your ass. Uh, and yours as well. Doggy, let me screw your brain. So, I think Pounders would be a great fit here, cause you actually need some more extra points and plus 100% is a great buff. Speaking of other buffs, let me check my perk loadout and uh, okay, everything is fine here. And sneaking play helps a lot, because no one can stagger you, no one can cancel your watts attacks. Why zero probability? Yeah, sometimes this shit happens. Doggy, let me mix up your intestines. I'm so sorry. Speaking of Pounder's legendary modification, it mainly gonna be good with auto melee webs if you deal with just one target. If you hit someone else, the buff goes to zero. If you wait more than 10 seconds or maybe 11 seconds before the next hit, the buff goes to zero. I'm not saying that it is a bad choice for slow melee weapons, but I'd rather go with wipers or pyromaniacs or anything else you will be happy about. Personally, I would go with wipers. Well, in my book, the perfect weapon to have founders on gonna be the freaking drill, cause it needs to be stronger by default. Base damage is kinda low. And that is all for today. Big thank you for watching. I will see you later. Bye bye bye. <laughs> bye bye.